Welcome back to Influencer Chat. I am Ben and joined here as always by Brian and we are here to talk about the finale of the Circle US Season 2. And uh, Brian, we have our uh, our winner of the I Circle know, US Season 2. I know, I should have stuck to my guns. We were talking about it before recording that yeah. I, was, I was on the case of Delissa slash Trevor winning and then last week I was like, actually mm-hmm. no, no chance. So... I don't necessarily understand what happened, but uh, happy for happy for her and happy, you know, uh, that they're going to be able to get a house and everything is a happy ending to the show. But I'm excited to talk about it because I want to maybe you could explain it. Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> no, I, I was surprised. Yeah, definitely surprising from a game perspective based on our predictions of how people would act in the final mm-hmm. ratings. But I do think that Trevor winning is a... Very narratively uh, good uh, ending to the show. I think that yeah. uh, I think that uh, Trevor was kind of like the uh, lovable underdog for most of the season, and uh, I do think that the audience generally weren't uh, huge fans of the Kardashians, <laughs> um, particularly uh, Courtney. Uh, but you know, I personally liked. The Kardashians. Uh, I oh, like I Chloe yeah, especially, yeah. and I, I, you know, didn't really get too much of a hate for them. But mm-hmm. uh, from a narrative perspective, I definitely think Trevor's win here is uh, good overall for the show. But yeah, mm-hmm. uh, we can talk here. I mean, there's not a lot to cover in this episode, but like you mentioned, no. I think that we could probably just get into uh, uh, get into why we were so wrong in our prediction. And uh, I think this comes down first and foremost to uh, John's rankings here mm-hmm. and us not really reading that uh, correctly. Um, and this actually, they actually showed so many rankings uh, during the little medley thing they did mm-hmm. uh, montage that I was able to figure out the entire one through five ratings yep. like a half an hour before the uh, actual ratings were revealed. And I knew that Trevor had won, and I was just literally sitting there waiting for, like, okay, can we get, you know, we got to wait get through all the introductions and all this, <laughs> but, like, I, I knew that Trevor had won because I had yeah. deduced it from all the information they said. But, yeah, what, what, what are your thoughts here? Uh, were, were you similarly kind of spoiled based off of the information they show? They no, I think, um, like, this is definitely one of those moments where it pays to be dumb. Um, <laughs> like, I, you know, I just, uh, no. just <laughs> no thoughts, all vibes. Uh, for for what was gonna happen there but uh no i i didn't um i didn't put it together necessarily very well i also like i don't know about you obviously i do know like you pay close attention like i kind of zone out when they're doing the rankings unless it's like a really surprising thing Mm because usually they're like mostly predictable but i guess i should have paid more attention during this one because uh I, I, I also kind of went into the episode with, like, the preconceived notion that, like, oh, one of the Kardashians is going to win, like, for sure. Like, there's almost yeah. no chance if they vote, like, somewhat strategically that they'll, you know, one of them will win. And I guess they did vote strategically, but they all voted each other down. And... Well, uh, sort of. Um, so they haven't, I don't think, released the ratings. The UK version, I believe, does release the final ratings after the mm-hmm. show. But I've kind of been able to piece it together. Like, I pieced it together sort of uh, in my head as I was watching the yeah. uh, montage, which is why I was able to, like, kind of figure out the uh, result was going to be. Right. Uh, and then I kind of, like, looked at it afterwards as well. But I agree with you in, in theory that most of the time I kind of zone out a little bit during the montage because most of the time the ratings are somewhat predictable. But there were a few things during this that really kind of caught my attention and made me actually like stop and think and be like, oh, wait, hold on. And the first thing I noticed was it became very clear to me that John rated Trevor number one, which is obviously going to become very important. Is this one that you caught? Yeah, no, I thought... um, I. The thing with, like, John... Well, okay, the thing with Jack and Lisa slash John, for yeah. as we've been through, if this is, like, the first episode you see it, we usually just call the players by their name in the circle because it's easier to keep track. Um, we just didn't see enough of their strategy, and we didn't, I think, have a good 
like finger on the pulse in terms of how connected they were to different players because I certainly wasn't thinking that John was going to rank Trevor so high and I don't know if you think it's it was a strategic thing in his mind do you think yeah that that was kind yeah. of it? yeah yeah okay no yeah based off of how they were talking and specifically how Jack was talking when they were like talking through their final ratings it definitely felt like their read was we are going to try and figure out who will be like what the rating if everybody else will kind of land everyone as and then just kind of reverse that and try to even everybody out and then maybe we can kind of eke out a victory that way mm. um if other people are rating tactically and like put john first if like if, like maybe two people do that they could have potentially eked out a victory sure uh, yeah that's not and so they were like they were like okay this is a three-person alliance trevor's probably going to be last among the four of them so we're going to put trevor first and then put Courtney second, and then put, I think, Chloe third and River fourth is what they ended up doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so I do think that makes sense in theory. Uh, and this is actually, there's actually a lot of parallels between this finale and the UK Series 3 finale that also just happened uh, a couple of months ago, or like a month or so ago. Okay. Uh, and there's so many, so many parallels here. I don't know if you want to get too, too into them, but... The idea of like uh, a pair who were blocked and then come back as a catfish, ending up in the finale, ending up being rated all the way at the bottom in fifth, and their rating is kind of basically determining the entire outcome of the season. Uh, and that having a showman as the top two, where there is a, a female catfishing as a male and then a real female, and the female catfishing as a male just barely eking out the victory over the real female who has mm -hmm. been just recently heartbroken over this. <laughs> very similar, very, like, and then the third and the fourth being a, a uh, two men, uh, one reel, and one a catfish. It was catfishing uh, along age lines. Mm -hmm. So in the U.S. version, it was an older man catfishing the younger man. In the U.K. version, it was the younger man catfishing as an older man. They're very, very strange parallels here in yeah, terms of you know, this outcome. the American adaptation of the Circle yeah, Series 3. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know I just kind of spoiled a little bit of the ending, but definitely if you haven't seen UK Season 3, go watch it. I think it's definitely by far the best season of The Circle. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think that we see here is the pair catfish John coming into this finale with uh, really kind of outsized expectations of what he's, like, what his chances are in his finals. Right. Uh, and trying to rank, like, very, very strategically and with that being the case, kind of determining the entire outcome. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. And I think um, we had talked about, okay, the only way John wins is if um, people try to be strategic and too many people try to be strategic in the same way and John gets propped yep. up. But it almost feels like because he decided to rank that way and then Chloe especially ranked like more legitimately to her and River. feelings and River. Um, mm -hmm. That's what gave gave Trevor the win, which is interesting. Um, obviously, we're very happy for Delisa slash Trevor slash, slash real life Trevor and their child. <laughs> this all very good now. Apparently, Delisa's uh, pregnant. Yes, second. yes. So. so congratulations to them. And I, I saw in so on social media that they bought a house. Obviously, you know how helped out by that money. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I guess other than that, for as far as compelling things go, um, what do you think of the dinner? Um, which they actually did not have dinner. I don't know why they put out all those plates and cups to just have them meet and then leave. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they had like cocktails at least, I think. Yeah, some, something. But, yeah, I don't. I don't know if I don't know if they ate and it was just filmed and shown or what, but mm. definitely a little odd. Um, yeah, I thought it was good. I think the entrance order was pretty solid uh, in terms of like the order that people came into the room. This is something that they probably that they've kind of like messed up in the past. I think on previous mm -hmm. seasons, US and UK, and I think this is probably the the, the correct order for television. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you had to have you know. Chloe in there first so that when yeah. Trevor comes in, it's a big surprise yep. and all that. Yeah. Yeah, when they did this in the UK season three, they kind of screwed it up by having the the fake 
Showman's being catfished to come in second, third, rather than first, second. So there's just kind of like this awkward third party sitting there while the uh, uncomfortable interaction was happening. Mm -hmm. So definitely they learned from that and had the uh, the fake Showman's come in first and second so they could, you know, air themselves out before more people had to walk into the awkward mm -hmm. space. Yeah, Chloe was uh, crestfallen to... I think that might be an understatement. She was, she was yeah. unhappy with the with the situation. But hey, Trevor's loss is uh, Mitchell's gain, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently that's a thing now. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, at least he's real, I guess. Yeah, and he's very good looking, so she could do worse, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't know the I don't know what the the uh, UK US situation is. I don't know if she's here or if uh, they're long distance or what. Mm -hmm. But whatever, you know, it's not my relationship. Um, <laughs> but yeah, definitely, I think the highlight of that uh, that dinner was probably uh, Chloe meeting meeting Trevor, and then everybody else kind of meeting Trevor, and then I guess River coming in later, and I'm like, oh my god, I had no idea. Yeah. Um, and it being a little bit fun um, with, like, Jack and Lisa coming in and then them mm -hmm. being like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> why uh, Why are you here? We already knew that you were catfish, <laughs> but you're John. Um, yeah, I think, I think it was fun. I think the reveals are always fun when there's more catfish, obviously. So it was nice that we got to keep... Was that all the catfish this season? in this yeah yep. so we got to keep them all for the reveal which is good i like that um but yeah i mean other than that we we got a little bit of rehashing the savannah and terry alicia drama uh i mean it was probably what like 10 days later maybe even less like it wasn't yeah. gonna cool off it's not like survivor where they get to watch you know the season mm -hmm. and then they come back for a reunion um so they were still not really punching on their stances in the game. Yeah. I, I was actually curious. I'm curious if all of the blocked players, like, stay in, like, one kind of mega suite or if they have their own individual rooms. Because, like, the way that the other three blocked players were reacting, it was like, yeah, this is this is what we expected. Like, you know, Kat and uh, Mitchell are, like, look, giving each other looks like, yep. This is uh yeah this is how it's going and uh Brian's in the background doing the namaste pose like yep. So uh, yeah, I the only thing that makes me think no, I think if Brian had to uh spend time alone with just the two of them arguing for an extended period, I think he would have given up on his kindness uh thing. He <laughs> would like I'm out. I'm embittered. This is all bullshit. But uh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to find that out. Maybe we can ask somebody. Who knows people who went on the circle? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, the situation is. Maybe they just uh, had already, you know, been backstage or whatever before the uh, the finale filming part of it, and there was already some uh, uncomfortable tension there. Uh, but it definitely seemed like the other players were aware that this tension existed yeah. um, when none of it really happened while they were in the game. Um, because Bryant was eliminated before all of it kind of popped off, and then Cat mm -hmm. and Mitchell came in after Savannah had already been blocked. Yeah. So none of them were really present for the drama. So yeah, I'm curious. Curious how much they really knew about it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting to find out someday. I'm sure someone will be a podcast. Hey, Carolicious Savannah, if you listen, you're more than welcome. Have it out Any, on anybody, this podcast. Anybody Please. on the cast is more, uh, more than yes, welcome to come of on. of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, not not terribly exciting. I, I don't know if it was worth necessarily uh, postponing this episode for another week. What do you think? Um, yeah, it's tricky because I, I think I know why they did it, and it's probably just because, for instance, with last season... Uh, releasing the finale along with three other episodes mm -hmm. means that it, there's like a higher likelihood that people are going to get spoiled on the winner online uh, because yeah. you have to like watch four episodes in order to be caught up to you know the the ending of the show. Whereas this, you know, 
everybody can be kind of expected to watch an hour long episode within the 24 hour period. Right. Yeah. And then they can start really kind of pushing out a lot of social media stuff about, you know, Trevor being the winner, uh, within the next business day, for instance, mm-hmm. and not have to worry super much, uh, or like super hard about spoiling people, um, because the expectation is more there than people have seen it already. Yeah. I think that's a great point. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, I think the, the real solution is to not release four episodes in one day. Um, so you can do more of what the British version of the show does, which is have one episode every day uh, for like five days a week. Uh, mm. So they had it like every day except Saturday, sometimes Sunday. So they had it like five to six days, once mm. one episode a day for like three or four weeks, however long it was. Uh, I think it's a slightly better model. Uh, you know, you probably are keeping up at a similar pace that you otherwise would. It's a lot easier to talk about online because you watch one episode and you have like a window of 12 to 18 hours to, to yeah. talk about it and speculate. And then you watch the next episode and you have 12 to 18 hours to talk and speculate. So I don't know if, if you think that's better or worse. But I know that, you know, Netflix is kind of like splitting the difference here because they're used yeah. to like this binge format where they publish an entire season and then, you know, watch it whenever. But this yeah. is it's a very kind of different format. Yeah, no, I think it would work um, well on Netflix if they did the model you were just saying. Um, because it is hard, and obviously for us, to promote stuff. Like, you have to be yeah. very vague. Um, mm-hmm. You have to like... You have to, like, make thumbnails that don't give away something, like, too far into the episode. You have to, like, title it stuff that doesn't necessarily spoil huge parts of it. Um, I know, like, the views are weird, too, because, like, people watch it at such a weird pace. So I think a lot of people are just, like, starting the circle and then being like, what do people think of the Terrorless in Savannah drama? And then finding our first episode. And then I don't know if they're finishing the series or that's all they were interested in hearing people talk about. Because that yeah. episode is doing very well. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's a very odd uh, thing. But I think I would prefer a more drawn out um, airing schedule. I mean, it's Netflix. Like, it's easy to watch on Netflix. Like, it's not like... Big Brother, we have to go through VPNs and find different, you know, ways to watch it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's only 13 episodes, so maybe that could lead to more episodes. Maybe that could lead to a longer game, give people more time to get in there. I know we talked about the British version. It doesn't seem so hopeless for the people who come in late because there's such a long game. Um, and I also don't know if you want to use this to transition to talk a little bit about um, the circle UK not getting picked back up. Yeah. What that could mean. Yeah, talking about like what Netflix's formula could be in the future could be even more relevant because there's now been news that Channel 4 has not chosen to option the circle UK for a fourth series, uh, which, you know, could mean the show is getting permanently canceled in terms of uh, the UK version. That's feels unlikely because it's the same production company that runs the UK and US and also French and Brazil yeah. version and, and the other from what other I've subsequent... seen seemingly all of them yeah yes uh, and maybe the more likely situation is that uh, Netflix has bought the rights out to that show um, which means that there would be a uh, series four and then subsequent uh, versions of the show and they would be moved to Netflix instead, which would then beg the question uh, of if that's the case, is any future series of the Circle UK going to uh, fit the Netflix version of release and format of a shorter season released in batches rather than a slightly longer season, closer to 20 to 22 episodes released on a closer to one episode a day sort of format um i obviously would prefer the latter i think that it's a a better product i think that it's the right amount of episodes is around 20. uh it's kind of like where 
you've gotten enough emotional attachment to the, the players and the characters that you actually have some sort of real investment into the, uh, into the result. And, and as you mentioned, I think the longer game gives the newer players, at least the, the newer players in like the first half or so of the game, uh, a lot better of a chance at, uh, at winning. Uh, you know, spoiler alert, but two of the three UK uh, regular series winners and uh, three of the four, if you include the circle version, even though the circle version is shorter, or the celebrity version, which is shorter, so it's not really a great data point, but our catfish, uh, there's only been one player who has won the circle UK who has been a real player, mm. uh, whereas... We have a one and one on the uh, US. And then also, if you look at the main version of the uh, UK circle, the seasons two and three winners were both players who came in late. Mm -hmm. Though the definition of late again is like they were the second and tied for first, I think, newcomers. So uh, they're still like, a barrier for like the very very last players i think to win right. but the longer version does give players like perhaps uh alisa as lance in this situation or maybe a miranda in season one more likes to, to stand on right yeah i mean i think uh i hope it does get picked up because i think it would do quite well especially in america because i feel like there are a lot of people watching The Circle, people who I don't even necessarily think are, like, big reality television viewers, like people who I follow for other reasons on Twitter are watching it because it's on Netflix, I think, you know. Uh, and maybe also because Survivor, like, was on Netflix and people liked that, and then they're like, oh, I'll try this other reality competition show. I think this would be a good time for Netflix to grab the UK Circle, you know, Americans can watch it, you know, and understand the language. Uh, people who are afraid of subtitles will have no fear um, for this, and I think it. I think it'd be a good deal. So I'm hopeful, especially because if it's not, I don't know what that means for the rest of the versions. Yeah. Yeah. Not. It wouldn't be a good sign, in my opinion, uh, if it were canceled permanently. Uh, yeah. Because so. if they're canceled, this show's canceled. <laughs> Which is not I mean, great for us. <laughs> I, I I think that at the very least in the short term, they'll probably still continue U.S. versions. Mm -hmm. um, but it is odd. And I did see something about like the uh, the circle like light thing being taken off of that apartment building. Oh, no. uh, I don't know how legit <laughs> that is. I don't know how legit that is. I don't know. I didn't I didn't fact check that. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, theoretically, it could mean that it's just moving locations. It could be a, a BS rumor mm -hmm. that somebody made up and just kind of spread out of control. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, definitely, you know, I, I don't like having any sort of, uh, you know, any any of this in the ether, right? As this is especially because I, I do think this season was pretty solid and i think that the like i think that this season of the u.s was better than season one of the u.s and i think that the uk season three was the best of the uk seasons so right. it sucks when the show is putting out good content for it to reach an uh, unfortunate end if that's the case yeah and i feel like for people like us who are very into reality competition shows it's like we keep getting these like interesting shows that either don't last or like mm -hmm. you know um seem interesting on paper but then don't really have like the follow-through to be a compelling product but i don't feel like the circles like that i feel like the circle is very compelling and i would like to i would like to have a another you know mainstay because we have survivor and big brother us but then like amazing race bb can they're always on like the razor's edge of like never coming back so like you know, want some stability. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a lot of stability in my normal life. You know, you got to have some stability in your television, right? Exactly. It's, you know, it's our escape. It's that the whole yeah. thing about a lot of our, our programming on this channel. So it would be, yeah. be very sad. 
Yeah, it would be. I, I would definitely uh, I would definitely be sad if the UK version was uh, permanently done, and then also if that bled into the US version as well in some way. Uh, well, yeah, well, stay tuned, I guess. Fingers crossed. Yeah, for now, we'll try to stay positive. And, uh, yeah, is there anything else you want to add before we get on out of here? I know shorter version, but we only had one episode instead of four. It's not going to be a two-and-a-half-hour episode for this yeah. one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think we, we squeezed a lot of this already. Um, yeah. We had, um, do we have them announcing any sort of, uh, like, Instagram uh, favorite player award or anything like that? I don't think so, right? Because I season one they did that, so. and Sammy ended up winning that. I don't right. think they did that. Um, no, so. I don't think so. Um, you know, I, I think that Trevor probably still uh, wins that um, mm. regardless, so. Yeah, I think especially if there was, like, a voting thing for it um, going into that episode, probably a lot of people were thinking, well, Trevor's not going to win, so I want to vote Trevor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Would have been a double, but that's all right. You know, we don't need yeah. a fan favorite. Survivor got rid of the fan favorite, so not every show needs one. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I can't really think of much else uh, to mention. I mean, uh, that's pretty much it. Trevor won. We talked about how and why Trevor won. We could say, like, for future players of the circle, it seems like we've established a pattern where if you're going into the final ranking where one player appears to be somebody who will be just, like, smashed into the bottom, like, easily last place in the ratings, if you can get that person to rate you first, that seems like a pretty solid way to, like, likely end up winning the show. We've seen this in uh, UK uh, Season 1, UK Season 3, UK Celebrity, US Season 1, and US Season 2. So almost every US and UK version of the show has basically followed this pattern of one player is way out in last, and the player that that person ranks first is the winner. So, so as, much, as much randomness as there's, there is in that final ratings, that's pretty much the the most like straightforward way I think you can play it is figure out who's going to be last and get them to put you first. All right, you heard it here. Uh, ben, where can we find you online? Uh, you can follow me on social media at Ben Sharon. Uh, I mentioned this before, but I haven't really tweeted about the Circle US because the release mm -hmm. is so weird. I might have actually put out one tweet about the finale. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's definitely... Uh, Hard to tweet about it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, follow me there. I tweet about a lot of stuff, reality TV. Yep. TV can just end it. I'll tweet about BBUS. Easy, you know, to tweet about. Ben tweets yeah. a good amount about it. So, if you're into yeah. these kind of shows, it's a good follow. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the fake B bar. That's B M A R R. The channel is on Twitter at W Everything on Instagram. We'll keep getting everything on Twitch at twitch.tv slash we get everything. And on TikTok, search we get everything. This channel is better radio the main channel i just said is we could get everything we have we could get sports if you're looking for sports content talking about all kinds of you know people fighting and hockey and who can win the mvp and whatnot and uh basketball and if your team messed up their draft picks is aaron Rodgers gonna leave the packers who knows um if you're listening well into the future you know or you don't care in, uh, in which case, that's quite all right. We appreciate you listening, um, and until next time, uh, we'll, we'll see you.